Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and I hope that I am recording. I am going to do a short video on how to do quadratics 8. So quadratics 8 is all about the vertex and finding its ver the vertex using x-intercepts. So I'm going to go down to my notes. You should definitely read through my notes. There's some things you should know about the vertex. The vertex is the high or low point of a parabola. I'll show you what I mean. y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2, okay? <clears throat> so right here, that's the low point, that's the vertex. Uh, if I made this um, all negative, then the vertex would be the high point, okay? And a second thing you should know about parabolas is the vertex is in the middle of the parabola. And by the middle of the parabola, I mean both sides of the parabola are symmetrical. They are mirror images of each other. Okay, so I get rid of that negative there. <clears throat> and once again, you can see both sides are symmetrical. So the vertex is this point right here. And in fact, I could make a line at x equals negative 1.5. Oops, that's not 1.5. 1.5. And it makes a nice vertical line that divides the parabola in two piece, pieces. We call this the axis of symmetry. It has the x value of the vertex. So, <clears throat> now that x value happens to be in the middle, halfway between those two x-intercepts. So if you look at the two x-intercepts, we've got an x-intercept at negative 2 here and 1 at negative 1. If we add negative 2 and negative 1, so negative 2 plus negative 1, and we divide, neg we get negative 3. We divide that by 2, we get the average of negative 2 and negative 1, and that is negative 1.5. And then we can take that x value, and we can plug it right into this equation here. Okay, I'm copy pasta the equation, and I'm just going to replace x, okay, with negative 1.5 wherever it shows up. And if I do that, the output I get is going to be the y value of my vertex. So there I've got negative 0 0.25, and so my vertex will be at negative 1.5, comma, negative 0 0.25. And I can confirm that on Desmos, of course, by clicking that. But I want you to go ahead and calculate it. So I'm going to do another example here. Um, let's say we have y equals x squared, um, and we'll say plus uh, 40x. And then we'll say minus, um, let's see here, we'll say minus 500. And let's think about what the heck that's going to be. I'm going to zoom way out and you can see this parabola. It's way down there. Um, the vertex is way down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first factor this. So it's going to be y equals... Turn the other stuff off so it's not in the way. Okay. So I'm going to factor this. So uh, two factors of 500 that are 40 that are 40 apart because it's negative. So one will be positive, one will be negative. So x uh, minus 10 and x plus 50. And that will work. 50 times negative 10 is negative 500, and 50 plus negative 10 is 40. So I now know that I'm going to have x-intercepts at 10, 0, and negative 50, 0. And there they are. I plotted them. So now I'm going to get the average of those two points. Okay, so I'm going to say 10 plus negative 50 divided by 2. And look at that. I get an average of negative 20. Okay, and that will be the x value for the axis of symmetry. So let's actually do that. x equals negative 20. And it makes a nice line that goes right down the middle of that. Okay, but I haven't found the vertex. I could see where that intersects, but I want to find the vertex uh, using negative 20. So what I can do is I can copy pasta my equation. I can do it either way. I'm going to copy pasta this, and I'm going to replace x wherever it shows up with negative 20. Okay, 
and I get negative 900. Of course, negative 20 is 4. Negative 20 times negative 20 will be 400. 40 times negative 20 will be negative 800. And then it's minus 500. So 400 minus 800 will be negative 400. And negative 400 minus 500 will be negative 900. So cool. We've got a vertex at negative 20 comma, negative 900. Okay, I'm going to plot that. I'm going to show you we could also use this to find it, and then we'll go and confirm whether we got it. So I could also have replaced x with negative 20 here and here, and we actually get a rather interesting result when we do that. Okay, we do get negative 900, but negative 20 plus 50 is going to be 30. Type 30. And negative 20 minus 10 is going to be negative 30. So I get negative 30 times 30. And you're going to get this pattern, actually, where it's the negative times the positive. And we get negative 900 again. So I've plotted this. Let's see if I got the vertex. We'll scroll way, 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 way down and see if we got the vertex for this. And yes, I did. That is the vertex for this parabola. So going back here, here are the basic steps. Find the x-intercepts. Average them. Add the x-intercepts together and divide by 2, since there will only be 2 in a quadratic. Use the average as the x-input for the function and find the output. So you're replacing x with the average. Then use the average as the x of the x as the x value that you got in number three, and use the y output from three as the y value of the vertex, and that will be the vertex. This average will be x, and this output will be y. Okay, and I've done a couple of examples here where I, just like I did on the video, um, so x x squared plus ten x plus sixteen is x plus 2 times x plus 8, we get x-intercepts at negative 2 and negative 8. We average negative 2 and negative 8, and we get negative 5. And then we plug in negative 5 for x wherever it shows up. So negative 5 squared plus 10 times negative 5 plus 16. Negative 5 squared is 25. Then 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. So we add that together. We get Put that together, we get negative 25. Negative 25 plus 16 is negative 9. And we get a vertex of y is negative 9 when x is negative 5. And there it is. There's your vertex, negative 5, negative 5, negative 9. And I did a second example where you're going to end up with some fraction-y stuff. So I've got x squared plus 7x minus 18. And so we factor that. Uh, negative 2 times 9 gets me 18, and negative 2 plus 9 gets me 7. So I've got this, x minus 2, x minus 2 times x plus 8. And the, y inter the x intercepts are at 2 and negative 9. Okay. And so then I get the average of 2 and negative 9. Okay. 2 plus negative 9 is negative 7. Divide that by 2 equals negative 3.5. And then I use the average as an x input for the function. Okay, and so I plug in this negative 3.5. I square it. I get negative 3.5 squared plus 10 times negative 3.5 minus 18. So negative 3.5 squared is 12.25. Yes, I used a calculator, and you can too. And 10 times negative 3.5 is negative 24.5, which happens to be the negative of twice that. So we add those to put those together, we get negative 12.25. And then we're subtracting 18. We subtract 18, we get negative 30.25. So y would be negative 30.25 when x is negative 3.5. And there is our vertex at negative 3.5, negative 30.25. Okay, and I will now put in the testing out links. I hope that was helpful.